Hi, I'm Rob Grusho. I'm with uh, Grusho International. We're here in Springwater, New York, in Livingston County. Uh, I'm talking with Dave Vitipka. He used the NutriPlant products this year on his farm, both uh, seed treatment and a foliar feed. And uh, Dave wanted to share his opinion on how things worked for his farm this year. Hello, uh, once again, my name is Dave Vitipka, second generation crop farmer. Uh, I got about 600 acres of tillable crops. Started using NutriPlant two, three years ago. Uh, tried it first on peas, powdered seed treatment. Uh, liked what I saw, and then I continued to use it on snap bean seed. And now I use it on my snap bean, my wheat, and my peas. Uh, I like everything that I've seen. I've used the uh, foliar feed as well, and I will continue to use the products. Uh, I just see good results. Seems like the plants are a lot healthier. Uh, they stay green through the stress times uh, when it's dry. And uh, for the cost and the return, I, I've just found that uh, it's a very good investment. One of the things that Dave and I have done, we've gone out in the field and looked at uh, root systems. And again, stress tolerances, both with the root stimulant and the foliar feed. Uh, the root stimulant, we see a little bit larger root systems, more hairs, pull in more nutrients. And uh, Dave, you as a farmer know that uh, the good base of a crop is having uh, a plant that has a, a great root system to help it get through those through those stressful times. Yep, I, uh, I you and I had talked about the spray on material, and I may get to that where I instead of putting the powder on, I use the spray, which is a little easier to use. And, uh, potato guys are spraying it right on the seed, right? Yep. So it's becoming a real easy product to use. Of course, the powder sometimes is, gets a little dusty, but. Uh, I'm going to continue to use that until, you know, uh, further notice anyways. Right. And one of the things about the, uh, the powder is it's a talc-based powder. So if you're using talc, if you need talc to plant, or if you're using graphite, you can actually reduce your cost by using this product because you either don't need to buy talc now or you can reduce the amount of graphite that you're using. So you're already getting a foot in the door as far as saving you money and making your return uh, for investment better as it is so yeah there's one thing I always wanted to say about the NutriPlant products everybody else is trying to sell you something uh, foliar NPK micronutrients and all that and it's all like the only product root stimulant I mean there's a lot of root stimulant out there but as far as what we have left you know to perfect our crops uh, I think we've all got it down pretty well uh, the basics and this is the kind of stuff where this is this makes the difference I think it's the health of the plant and in the end, uh, sometimes, even just a healthy plant, you may not get a better yield in, in some bad years, but you will get a good yield because most other growers won't have healthy plants. They'll get terrible yields. Right. So that's what I find a lot, too, is in those years where, you know, you say, oh, how was the yield? It wasn't great, but because I had that on there, that plant stayed healthy, and I had a couple farmers stop by and say, what are you doing to your crops? I mean, they're so green, they're lush, they're, and I mean, that right there just proved to me that, you know, it's a good product. Right. So, with the NutriPlant products, Dave's going to use them, uh, do some more testing next year, uh, and get some side-by-side -side results. But from what Dave has seen and NutriPlant products have done for him, has made him more profitable through plant health. And uh, Dave touched on it briefly. Uh, the root development product is not based off of NPK like other products are out there. These products just develop a root mass and through proven technologies do it better than any other product out there and the end result is a plant that gets through those stresses better whether it be drought tolerances, whether it be too much heat or too much water or even insect pressure. A healthier plant will produce more in the end given the exact same conditions in, uh, in, uh, in, in Dave's field as well as your field. As I was mentioning before to Rob at one point, uh, the peas are a real short growing crop, uh, 60 days, you know, a little bit longer than that. So you can give them a lot of fertilizer and they don't respond, it's always cool. But roots, the root stimulant is really the only you know, advantage you can have to make a difference. And I really see it in the peas when I use the root stimulant. Um, we were also talking one day, I told Rob I did a field of snap beans. I put on the root stimulant, foliar, foliar feed twice, and I had 8.1 beans 
a ton of beans on it. That's the highest I've ever had. Of course, that was one year, but I'm going to do the same thing next year and, and you know, keep checking it. So, I mean, uh, right. I was extremely happy with that. You were also talking, uh, you had a similar field. It wasn't a side-by-side, -side, but it was a field that was in close proximity to that. And uh, the same field, uh, I don't think you said you did everything. You had the root stimulant on that field. Just which, the root stimulant, yeah. And right. that still turned out, it was close to six to Right. But, uh, yeah, I was a little shocked at, you know, how, how Adding much. two ton for a couple foliar feeds. And, and again, not a not a side-by-side -side trial. There's no check, but those right. fields are in the same block. Right, yeah. right. So using these products, you know, Dave has already seen that, you know, the potential yield increase there, investment and dollar return can be huge. And uh, I know next year, Dave, you're going to do some more trials. We'll get some side-by-sides and to follow up with this year results and uh, definitely get a dollar number on what you think. But, you know, on average, you know, it looks like you're seeing between a 10 and a 20 percent increase in, yeah, in I, your yields. I'd have to do some pencil pushing, but I know that with my wheat, too, I never use the root stimulant. I put that on my seed this year, and I had the best yield I ever had in wheat, too. Um, yeah. I mean, it was 10 to 12 bushels more per acre than I've ever seen. And it was a good growing season, but once again, I'm going to be using that, too, as well. Yeah. Uh, another product uh, that Dave has used, uh, has tried this uh, last couple of years, is a surfactant. It's called APSA 80. It's a non-ionic surfactant. It's probably one of the best products on the market. Uh, price point is the biggest, uh, one of the biggest attributes this product has. It's very inexpensive per acre. Uh, and at that low cost, a lot of times you see products that are low priced like that. They aren't very effective. And the effectiveness that you saw in the APS 80 product, uh, giving you better coverage and that, what did, what did you like about the product, Dave? Well, um, I, I like the fact that it was colorless, odorless, easy to handle. Um, you know, as I've, Rob and I had talked, there's a lot of adjuvants. Uh, but for their price and the, the little amount that you use, I mean, that's the biggest thing. You really don't use a lot of it. And uh, some other products, you know, use a lot more of it. It's just going to handle more material. And uh, for the cost and the, the amount that you use, I, I did some checks uh, without the uh, using any adjuvants. And uh, of course, you're supposed to use a lot of them, and it worked great. Uh, side by side, I had a couple of fields that I didn't use it, and you can tell where the uh, APS 80 was. Right, right. And again, getting the biggest bang for your buck out of the product that you're using. If you're using a product, you're not seeing many results with it, you might not want to use it, but that's going to make the product that you're trying to apply to your crops less effective. And less effectiveness means not as much money in your pocket during harvest time. And that's what the products that uh, Grusha International is trying to bring to you farmers is not the normal products that you're used to, but taking that next step in elevation and quality of products and uh, product that delivers to you consistently year after year and in the end result making you more profitable through that. I, uh, I was going to tell you I did use uh, some other products and uh, I don't know there are a couple of them were like I said they had a certain odor to them they were a lot a lot more oily you had to really rinse out the container when you got done and I just like the Absa 80 much better I just put some on a couple days ago and here it is in November so we'll see how that does I'll let you know. Yeah, we'll be back next year to give you some uh, input results on how things worked out uh, on this AP80 application on some wheat with uh, Dave Vitipka. So to wrap it up, uh, again, we're here with Dave Vitipka in Springwater, New York, and Livingston County. Uh, he used Nutriplant products this year on his farm, saw phenomenal results. And that's what uh, Grusha International is about. It's about bringing products to the farmer that are really going to make an impact on his yields and increase his prof profitability because that's what it's all about. It's, a, it's about improving your crops so that you can put more money in your pocket.